Oh, more trouble. Just trouble, man. Yeah. Just trouble. Just trouble. What can I tell you? Sorry for the delay. Always have a delay. It's called a computer. The computers don't agree with TG. Yeah. Computers don't agree with TG here. So, what can I tell you? Detri's winning, whoever he is. Detri. Johnny Detri. <laughs> Mr. Detri. Hello, cars. 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 Cars for, cars for kids. Oh, I hate computers. Hi, everybody. Welcome aboard. We got this thrilling golf tournament on with all the top names in golf. Joe Schmo, Joe Pro. Please like and subscribe so I can get more people to like me. How about this one? 1.5 million views and growing. Welcome to the jungle. Golfballs.com. Cars for kids. Welcome to the jungle. Commercial commercial on golf tournament, folks. Thomas Dietrich's winning, or Detry, on casual Friday. Welcome. Hopefully you have a stellar, a stellar or two with you. Casual Friday. What else you got to do? It's cold out. Well, 61. That's cold. It was cold this morning. I mean, cold. It's funny. I had the AC on like 40, right? No problem. But it's 50 out, 60 out. And I'm like, oh, my God, the world's ending. Crazy, crazy talk, folks. Crazy talk. We got to see who else is on. Who else is on? What happened? Oh, that's me watching my own channel. I'm sharing it. Trying to share it with the tubes. Help, I need somebody, help, not just anybody, help, I need somebody. Who else can I welcome? Oh, that um, Discord thing, right? 
Discord, copy link, and then I go to the Discord, and then I'll go to my friend here, General, boom. Boom. Casual Fridays here. Hello, welcome. I'm sending out the feelers to the Facebook crowd and the um, Discord crowd and all that stuff. You know, there's there's a, millions of people out there dying to see what I have to say. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Casual Friday. What else can you put it on? Instagram? No, they don't want you to leave, right? Instagram. No, so how do I do that? Can you do that? I'll try anything. <laughs> you know, get them out there, baby. You got to do it, man. You got to do it. Ah, oh, it's almost time for another one. You know what I got to do is put that fridge over here. I got to make it better. You know what I mean? I got to make it better, people. Let's go. Oh, I got a million more backgrounds I could use. I'm going to find a cool one. Cool one. I have cool ones. You know what I mean? Uh, what the hell is that? Richard Bauer. I don't know how they're going to look, though. Oh, they're not on the computer now. The lovely Alicia. Ooh, uh, I guess I could leave these ones. <laughs> My boy Trevino, Johnny Daly, Masquerade. Looks like I have a beard there. Looks like I have a beard there. Please subscribe, hit that like button. I need that like button. Press. That's what shoots it out into the YouTube world. The world of YouTube. Oh my God. Welcome, everybody. Say hello, please. This cars fella. Cars for kids. He donates his cars for kids. <laughs> Big tournament on. We got Dietrich Hubbard, Hughes, Putnam, Taylor all battling out. We need the live guys, right? We need the live guys, folks. It's weird. This, the season starts now for next year. And then, I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, the uh, European tour is on, though, right? The uh, Some guy shot a 52 on the front nine or back nine. 
because the wind was so bad. I mean, it was crazy and raining. I didn't see much of it, to be honest with you, but I will watch the, the highlights. It was pouring buckets. The wind was 100 miles an hour. It's the way it should be over there. Maybe not 100 miles an hour, but shitty weather at that golf course, St. Andrews. The, co the course is easy without wind for the best players. It really is, you know, so it's fun to watch. Fun to watch chaos, you know what I mean? Chaos is a good thing. Just watching these guys, perfect weather, hitting the wedges there. Wee, that's no fun. Jaeger bomb is up now. Jaeger bomb. Casual Friday. You got your stellar Artois, I hope, or whatever you're drinking. Talking golf life. Anything except that will get me banned from YouTube, like everyone else is getting banned from YouTube if you're on the wrong side of a certain subject. Which I don't uh, deal with. I stay away from. So I go on other people's channels and ruin it. <laughs> so where are you from? Say hello, everyone. Say hello. Be present. Tell everybody where to go. We could have a fun afternoon. I don't. Oh, that's what I wanted to see if anyone else was on. The people that like me, if they're on. Uh, if, you know what I'm saying. That's that's Instagram. We don't want Instagram. Welcome to the jungle. All right. Where are we? Where are we? Imagine if I knew how to use a computer. No, nope, no one's on that I'm, I'm a uh, fan of. One guy. Everyone else is on. They all go at night. They go all night, like 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning. It's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, no one's on. Everybody must be sleeping. Just me. So that's good. Everyone come and check it out. We can all meet here and have a nice conversation about life in general. If I, I, I should be a bartender, too. I could talk about your problems. and If you have insecurities, I can help you with. I can do that. Booze, booze is one of the best ways to do it. It's only my first one. Nice light blue cup, right? That's manly. So that's how you fight your insecurities. You drink out of manly cup. Beer of choice. It's a lager. I don't know anything about beer either. I'm really stupid, I guess. Besides golf. Everything else I just don't. Is this a lager? Yeah, lager. So what are other kinds of beers out there? Lager? What's the other one? Shitty? Like Bud Light? Cat pee? Dog pee, I guess that is. But I don't know. Someone asked me something. I'm getting, I don't want to talk to myself. Like me, too. If you don't like me, still like it anyways. Even if you don't like it, like it. That'll help make me feel better. If you're watching this boring golf, I mean, even the announcers have put me to sleep. Oh, he's got in a putt. Uh. They do bore you to death. They really do. There's too many of them, first of all. There's like 19 announcers. You never know who's talking. They talk over each other. And they say the stupidest, I keep looking that way because that's where the TV is. It's the stupidest, they say the stupidest uh, cliche things too. It's so horrible. I wish I hit it 3.30, the guy said. No shit. The further and straighter you hit it, people, the better. Right? Where do they get these, these people? Oh man, I should. I wish I could do it. That's what I want to do: is do a live, do my own uh, commentary, use their video if they let me, and come and commentate on here. Like that was a shitty shot, or he sucks, or you know what I mean, stuff like that. I think it'd be funny. Oh, well, oh he gagged that one. Not he pushed it or he pulled it. He choked on it. You know, I think that would be more entertaining to people. Well, oh, another gag job. 
uh, uh, where's where's all the big players? Where's all the big names? One million views. I got over 1.5 million views, folks, and I thank you all. Uh, thanks for the support. Another one I could put on there. The dog is barking. Uh-oh. Who is that? Is that the cops? What the hell is that? Where's this lady go? It's some weird old hold on a second. What the hell is happening? Oh man, weirdos. Don't leave me. Why are you leaving me, man? Oh, I hate everybody. Look how fat. I have a, a tumor. You like my tumor? Oh, boy. Welcome to the jungle. We're back, baby. Still on the first one. But. Ah, what can you do, man? Beep up, blah, boo, bop, beep up, boo. Welcome to the jungle. Be right back. T G G I. Concurrent view. When is the next live event? That's a good question. Let me find that out. The hell is this freak? Where is it? Live golf schedule. I have it right here, folks. Maybe I don't. <clears throat> uh, Bangkok Bangkok October 7th through 9th my friend Jetta oh, so they're going to fight two in a row uh, Oh, there's only three left. One, two, three, four. Five. They've played five events. There's three left. Where's Jetta? Jetta, home to one of the best golf courses in the Middle East, Royal Greens and Golf and Country Club, featuring stunning views of the Red Sea. October 14th to 16th. Bangkok. Now, I lived in Bangkok. Patham, Tiny Province of Thailand. Stonehill. I don't know. I, that was a long time ago. I don't remember that golf course. I'm sure it's nice. I'm sure they're all nice. And then in Miami, uh, end of October, Doral. Uh, 
Pretty cool. What about next year? The team championship thing is kind of wild. Ticket to Friday the 28th, quarterfinals. Team seeded 1 through 4 receive a 5. Team seeded 5 through 12 complete in head to head match play competitions. Two singles matches and one offensive shot. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Pretty cool. All right, team one total plays will be changed with the highest ranked team select their opponents. So all thirty two players amongst those eight teams will compete simultaneously in a shotgun start. All right, so there's four so there's twelve teams, right? So it's eight eight matches. So there's gonna be four and then eight matches again on Saturday. Are they eliminated? So they must be eliminated. The four winning teams will compete in a shotgun start round of stroke play. All 16 players will compete in twosomes with team captains playing together. All four scores count towards the team score. Huh. At the end of Sunday's round, the squad with the lowest team score is the Live Golf Invitational Series team champion. It's kind of cool. An alternate shot and a two singles matches. Something different. Something different. Ludwig Aberg. I know this one kid, Cameron Claycomb. No one's joining to watch us here, folks. No one's joining us. You get him and lose him. You get him and lose him. Sixty. Not sure, but Bangkok, Bangkok, Jeddah, and then um, yeah, Miami. That team thing looks pretty fun for the live event. There's like two singles matches and then an alternate shot between the other two guys, so that's pretty cool. Should be exciting. Big money, too. Big money. God. Imagine playing for that type of money. It must be amazing. Must be amazing. I've got the power. Why does that say entertainment? It says it's entertainment. Not entertaining anyone. Thanks, brother. That was me last. 
Yeah, if you leave it on, that'd be great. You know how to do it? You just flick it up and it will go on. You know how to do like the mini player? Yeah. I got the power. Thumbnail. I don't think I have a thumbnail. I don't think I have a thumbnail. No thumbnail. No thumbnail. Slow mode. What does that mean? Redirect. Trailer. Details. No, it's not made for kids. Age restriction. No, don't restrict my age. To do it. Huh. Hey, sorry, I was falling asleep. <laughs> I was trying to change the settings. I had the settings all wrong to like, to not good ones, but I think I got it better now. I think I have it better now. Please hit that like button. Just, just tap it. You don't even have to like it. Just tap it for me. Casual Friday. Who's here? Say something. Say hello. The next live event is in Bangkok. Told you, I lived in Bangkok. That's I made him play that Bangkok song every time I was in a bar, which was a lot. Absolutely made him play that song. It was amazing. It was amazing, people. Bangkok, Oriental Cities. You don't know the cities. I think doors open again. Bangkok. Yes. What other questions do we have? Does that hat look stupid on uh, Joel David? Yes. Yes, it does. I'll answer that for you. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. You had a whole bunch of people and they're gone. They got bored. Oh, maybe they don't like my background. I'll go back inside. It's raining out. <laughs> the piano. How the hell do I do it? There we go. Pretty funny. Pretty funny, people. The live turn, yeah. The live um, playoffs is going to be something else. Yes, if that's what you're thinking. This tournament is so fucking boring. What else do people do? Everybody streams at night. So where are the day people? Sleeping? Where are the day fans? We need the day fans. What time is it? Four, it's 4.30 already? Jeez. Time flies when you're yapping to yourself. <laughs> They're going to start exercising. Got to start exercising. Ah, oh, that's a white me. No, oh, I was there. I need some clarity and clear. Need clarity and clear, people. I might have some in here. Clarity and clear. I do. I do. This stuff puts me to sleep, so it'll be right out cold. No one's like it. Like it, people. How do you not like the button? Hit the like button. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it.
really don't get it. Made lobster and one. Ah. There's your main lobster. One like. That's so mean. I guess people have lives. Or they're still sleeping from streaming all night with these other lunatics. Tuna licks. Tuna licks, we call them. Right? Trying to get this Claritin open. It's impossible. I can't, I, I can't get it open. I got scissors, chainsaw, fucking everything. There we go. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I can breathe. Instant, instant breathing. So you want to see my putter? Oh, you suck. <laughs> the old ball and chain effect. It's a spider. It's not a Titleist. It's beautiful. Where do I put the cameras up there? Look at that. You can see through it, too. That's what's amazing about it. The mallet putter, they call that. A mallet, folks. Maybe if I put it in front of me there, you can see it better. So mallet, and you putt and make putts with it. If you're good, you make putts with it. If you stink, you don't. Know, you can put that right there. It's brown. I think it's brown. I don't know what copper maybe color. I don't know what color that is. But it's not a Titleist, which I know... It's ludicrous, right? I have a Titleist right there. I don't even know where my good one is. It's over there. Now I have no fans. Went from 20 to zero. No fans. No. No. Spider. Make everything with this. Literally make everything with it. Wow. People are people, so why should it be? You and I should get along so awfully. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. That over there. That over there. We've got a 10 spot. 10 spot at Dick's. That's pretty good. You know what I mean? I think you do. Crazy man. Pretty good player. I'll give him credit where credit's due. Give him credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? I think you do. Seven seven cars for kids. Oh shit. Good 
If LA Beast goes last, That's crazy. I feel like my golf swing is. Oh, boy. Wow. Ugh. Do, do, do. That's what we do. Anybody want to be my baby? Invite. Who can we invite? Bangkok is, uh, yeah, the next one, my friend. Bangkok, I believe, then in Saudi Arabia. So be careful over there. And then uh, Miami. And that's the end of the season, end of October. And it's going to be fun. Those playoffs are going to be exciting. Something to watch, something different. Baseball playoffs will be going, I believe. Winter's coming. Hockey season starts next week, I think. Ugh. Oh, God. I hate the winter. I want to be in Florida, Florida, or Florida, however you say it, wherever you all live. Have a pen. I had people, but they disappear. I'm not entertaining today. Normally, I'm entertaining. But today, I just don't have it, I guess. Casual Friday. You got your you got your beverages. That's my first and a half beverage. have some fun chat it up say hi say something ask me a question because no one i know is is um is streaming at the moment that i watch or listen to so i don't know where all the people all the people that watch must be sleeping because they do stay up all night yeah no one that i i follow is streaming at the moment. What what does that blue thing mean? I don't know. More most relevant. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's crazy. But this golf tournament's boring. It's boring. They need to pay some big names to uh to play, you know? They really do. You know, McElroy and all these guys. Subscribe, please. Hit the button, please. The old begging. Gotta beg for subs beg for likes. Come on, man. <clears throat> you wanna see my putter? It's not a Titleist, so don't lose your mind. Well, I have a Titleist over there. This is the one I've been using last time I was playing good. It's a sp a spider. Pretty good. It's a smaller headed spider. Where is it? Right there. It's pretty good club. Let me get that stupid thing out of the way. It's a pretty good pretty good club. Right there. It's nice. It's like copper collar top. It's one of those thick um, wind grips on it. I like it. I have a couple of Scotty Camerons and all, but I putt better with a mallet putter. The the blades putters or conventional putters, I don't putt that well with. So I use that. You got to use what you, you that makes putts. Obviously, that's important, especially putting. You know, irons are you can get away with anything, but you, if you're putting, you want to be a good putter. You got to use what um, what goes in the hole, what what fits your stroke and all that too, of course. But you got to use what goes in the hole. You know, so that that's important. Oh, that's important. Hold on one second. Yeah, I know you can hear that. Sorry. God, I just took two Claritons, too. I shut the windows. See if that would help me, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Oh, my knees. 
B is better, actually. So here's the other word. Oh. Where's the stupid thing? Show you. So here's the other word, the fancy, one of the fancy words. Scotty's camera there. It's Newport 2 something or other. Newport select something. Newport 2. But I don't putt good with it or well with it, whatever the word is. I just don't. You know, it's nice. But you got to use what was in the hole. You know, what did I do with the head covers? The head covers are worth like 90 bucks each. And I seem to have lost this one. <laughs> there it is. I just used the plain ones. I got fancy ones. So why don't I do that? I'll get you the fancy ones. Well, yeah, people people collect these puppies. This one's not that. This one's maybe a hundred bucks. You can't see it though, right? I used to have a big collection, but I sold it for pretty good money. Now this one is worth a lot because it's a one of a few. So you got this one when you played in the uh, PGA, the big one. And they only gave it to like 50 guys, 60 guys. So there's only 60 of them. There's no date on it, which I think the date would have made it worth more money, but they didn't put the date on it. Then this one, which I used, so it's not worth that much. Uh, my wife, there's a little dog on there, Scotty dog from the British Open. Um, there's little scooters on there, British scooters. And that's my wife's nickname. I call her the scooter. So that's why I use that one. And then your basic old circle T one. This is probably 1500 bucks. But I had all the other ones. That that other one is probably like 85 bucks. I have more, but I don't know what I'd do with them. I probably should keep track of them, you know, but. They're cool to have. They're pretty cool collection. But if you go on Scotty Cameron's website, you can see all the different head covers he's got. They're pretty cool. They really are works of art, you know. And back in the day, I probably had 85 of them, collected 85 of them, and, and they were uh, probably worth 12, 15 grand. And uh, cost me probably six grand so it was worth to sell them but that was like 2010 and i just stopped doing it there's so many of them it, it gets addicting to do it too because there's it's such a rush to get they, they they're cool they come in these little bags i took those out of the bag obviously but yeah that was fun fun to do fun to do besides teaching golf and all that so that's my main deal now. I don't really play much anymore. Teaching, they're doing this YouTube stuff. So I'm doing these videos and it's it's going well. I'm getting tons of views. Uh, I'm over a million and a half in three months, which is you know pretty good from what I understand, you know? A million five forty seven seven twenty eight. Not bad. My subscribers, I got like twelve hundred and forty nine. Trying to get more, trying to get more. So if you are out there, I would want to help me out a little bit. See, that's what I tell people is you can't, you can't get. Um, whoa! Did I just turn that on? You can't. Um, get subscribers like you can't go fishing for them you have they have to come to you and they come to you by YouTube finds out what you like and then they send it to you you know what I mean so when you scroll so when I go on I'll go on YouTube now and I'll click on you know new, new to me so well there's Tiger Woods and Kim Kim Smith 
uh, Peter Ducey, Mike Drop, Ted Bizarre Ways, Directors Trick Audiences, just things I guess I like, I guess. Turtle Boy, it's called. Legal Vices, you know, but mostly golf stuff and trial stuff. So if people don't like, like that, you know, I won't get it. So, this, so same thing with this. If people don't like my stuff and, and, and subscribe, YouTube won't push me. You know what I mean? YouTube won't push me. So that's why I need you to all to subscribe to it, press the buttons and all that stuff. So that's important. Very important to grow as, as a YouTuber, creator, whatever you want to call me. That's important to have, you know, so. And I appreciate it. I do. I, I love doing this. And, uh, getting people involved in golf, you know, it's a great game. And uh, I was talking with one of my Twitter friends there, Twitter guy. He's playing with his whole family today. He said he loved it. He had a ball, you know. That's great if you could go play with your family. I used to play with my mother and father, um, my brothers. My sister never played, but we all played together, and it was great. You know, we, we, we could, my mother's not going to play street hockey with us, but she, she'll play golf with us, you know. It's good stuff, and we watched the golf tournaments. I used to, with my dad, watch golf every – the Masters tournament, U.S. Open. It was on Father's Day. On that Sunday every year, we used to watch the final round together until he passed away, you know, right up until the last breath he took, we'd watch it. You know, he made it to 93 or 4, which is great, but uh, that kept them, it was a good bond, you know, and, and, and my son, his grandson was a pretty good player, and uh, they had that bond, you know, and uh, that's good stuff. That's great, great for your, your families and uh, it's just good in general. Golf should be played. Actually, let me write that down. Golf should be played uh, by everybody, especially at school. It's good for business, too, you know. So that's why I want my daughter to play. You know, I want her, because I've been giving golf lessons. I just take a notes. Give a golf lesson, and I'd have people. You know, a lot of women, you know, their twenties, thirties, come for a quick golf lesson because they were going to play in a scramble, a company scramble. You know what I mean? Or a company event, an outing, and they needed to learn how to play golf in, in a week. <laughs> you know, it's, it helps you. It does. It helps you with business. It really is good for people to play golf. There's so much more to it than just golf. You get some exercise if you walk in and your social skills and you know, learning to play fairly. There's so much more to it, you know. And that's uh, uh, there's so much you can do. Some guys gamble. If I go play in a, a round with my buddies, we'll play for 20 bucks or something. And, you know, you, you can play for free. Obviously, you don't have to gamble or it's just a great game and a great way to spend your day, spend some time together, you know. And I'm sure you, you guys do too with your with your with your buddies that you've known from college and high school that you still play golf together. Or, or you know, you get together and you go on a buddy's trip. You take ten guys to Scotland or or uh, what's that one? Uh, Banyan, what's that called? Banyan dudes or something. Braden, Braden dudes, I forgot the name of it, but Banden dudes, Banden dudes, yeah, and that's great, you know, you go out, have some beers, you play some golf, you know, and, uh, that's what makes golf so wonderful, you can do that, you can play with anybody, and you can compete based on the handicap system, you know what I mean, compete, you know, the handicap system is, is, is huge. You know, so if I'm a, a zero handicap and you're a 10, 
I give you five shots a side. We could compete. We can have a match. You know, I'd only give you six, but we could compete. And again, that's what makes it so good. That's what makes it so good. Just a great game, great social event, kills time, challenging, gives you gives you something to do, you know. And my daughter's getting into it. My oldest son played competitively, and uh, my youngest son plays a little bit, but we're trying to get him into it more. But it's just good for you to be able to do that because in 10 years from now, it's like a gift of golf. If you don't start your kids early, you're crazy because it's hard to learn it when you're older, harder to learn. It's You can do it. Do it right. You can do it. But take them to the driving range. Get them hooked on it a little bit. Get them swinging the club a little bit. Teach, get them to a golf pro that knows what he's doing and just show them how to hold it right, how to stand there right. And, and then when, if they do pick it up in five years or 10 years, at least they'll have a chance, you know, because it's humbling. You go out there and shoot a million, your buddies, are, you, you get – Hopefully you don't get laughed at, but it's embarrassing, you know. Thank God I haven't had to play poorly for a long, long, long time. Hitting shitty shots all the time, it's got to be difficult, you know. And it's not that hard to get help. It's not. Now, some guys out there don't know how to help people and are bozos, yeah. But you find the right person and someone that knows what he's doing, it can help you fast, you know. Because... You can't learn in one day to hit it perfect. It just takes some more time. But it shouldn't take you that long, you know, because you're doing it better, right? You know what I mean? You're doing it right. So if you do it better or correctly than you were before, you have to get better. That's just a fact. If you're holding it wrong, you're screwed. You know, you don't have it with those fingers, you're screwed. If you don't have it, you know, you're relaxed. If you're tense, you're screwed. So... It's it's there. The information's there. You can find it. You know, go on YouTube or you know, sign up for my lesson plan. It's it's easy. It's cheap, and you'll learn something. It's education. You know, I, I'm a teacher of, of golf. Yes, but uh, but an educator of golf. You know, learn why things are a certain way. You know, why does this happen? You know, how? Why? What makes things happen in the golf swing? Or there's so much to learn. It's amazing. I, I, I can literally be here forever making videos on, on the golf swing and game and, and just what happens and uphill lie, downhill lie, downhill lie out of the rough, downhill lie in the fairway, downhill lie on hard pin, downhill lie when it's wet, downhill lie when it's dry, downhill lie into the wind, downhill lie downwind, downhill lie no wind. You know what I mean? There's 12 right there on the same shot we do different things on every shot. You don't just do the same, you know, and it's not that hard to change it. It's not, it's, it's subtle changes. If you watch the guys on television, unless you know what you're doing, it's hard to tell if they're drawing it or fading it or whatever, because it's subtle. There's small changes. They don't overly change their swing to curve the ball a different way. They don't. They may aim differently or something like that, but, the information's there. It's out there. It's right here on my channel. And again, my, my videos are, are getting more how-to and in-depth because now my knee is better. I couldn't walk. You know, I, I was injured for a long time. So now I can start swinging again. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting back into it. And that's what's going to happen. You know, you're going to be able to access the, the, the uh, library of videos that I have and, and able to to learn from it besides asking me directly you know. so but yeah get your kids into the game get your kids into the game early you owe it to them you really do you know you really do the online lessons it's cheap. It's inexpensive. But you got to be committed to it. You got to do it. You got to put the time in. You got to put the work in. You know. 
you gotta you gotta be able to to go in the backyard and do this repetition you know it's not just magic you still got to put the time in but it's not that difficult it's really not that difficult you know Mark Hubbard Thriller in Manila All right, I have to go get a beverage. Be right back. Be right back. Oh my God, you're gonna do it. Commercial break. my friends i had i had them in here they all left me because the commercial break is almost over folks the commercial break is over hit that like and subscribe button i love that begging for, begging for people to like me i love it i love it what do i have 1200 yeah i gotta get the 1500 that's my next goal I should have that by November, it said, but uh, the, analyzing, the analyzing people out there. But yeah, if you got kids, get them into the game early. Get them somewhere. Get them going to the driving range. Ask me for help. I'll show you what to do. Take them to the range. Do them a favor. Because golf will take them places in business, in life, socially, you know, uh, teaching them how to get out of trouble when they're in the trees. It's so much does so many things for you. And then if their buddies play, they'll be able to play. Because it's no fun when they can't hit it. And they hit it crooked and they quit. And, and it's hard if you're not doing it right. And the reason I'm good is because I do it right. Well, I don't know if right's the word, but the easiest way. Let's put it that way. You know. So that's what people need to know. Is you, you don't suck at golf. You're just not doing it the right way. You know, if that makes any sense. You know, I, I suck at math because I don't do it the right way. Or I'm, or I'm stupid, I guess. You know what I mean. And then the older crowd that comes for lessons, you know, they they, they get frustrated early if, if they don't see results. So I got to be on my game. I got to be... I gotta, you gotta see results, and they normally do. Right away, you'll see a big difference, instantly. But you still have to work it and, and use it. It's like a muscle; you gotta use it, or you're gonna lose it. You gotta be active. You gotta keep on, keep on using those muscles, and, and everything will work out. Oh, that's funny. Funny stuff. Too much. Come on.
Casual Friday. Casual Friday. Oh, well, what could you do? Keep shaking in my chair. It's 510. Jesus. What is that? Mute. Mute feet. Mute. 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 Might bring in some fans. TTG. You got it? TTG. TTG. It's crazy for you, baby. Look at the tan on me. Holy crap. That is one tanned mother Fletcher. Except for my hand. That's where my golf glove was. The tears is up the wrist. Pup, big puppy shirt like the pirates. Jesus. Tanned and trim. This guy's an adult. Handing me the check. No, he's just shaking my hand, I think. Just shaking my hand. Thought there was a big check there. Was it that big? Big enough, but not that. Big. Not that big, people. Cars for kids. So you were there, buddy. Where? Where'd you go? Cars for kids. Now every time someone comes in and leaves, I don't like it. They come in, there's been 47 people. But they don't stay. Hello, who's out there? Say hello. We've got to talk golf. Or talk anything. Let's talk golf. Let's talk baseball, hockey, tennis, lacrosse. Field hunt. It's casual Friday. We talk about anything. And Stella is the drink. It's not a. I don't have a girl tied up in the closet. Well, I do, but her name isn't Stella. This is Stella. Stella. So casual Friday, we talk about anything. You know, if golf is there, obviously. And, uh, any good movies on Netflix? Oh, that John Wayne Gacy one? Holy crap. Do you see that? Burying people in his basement. 26 of them. He had them lined up. Oh, it was so disgusting. And one guy, right? One of his victims was in the basement mud when he was decomposing. And these guys are amazing. And he stuck his hand in his rib cage. It pulled him out. Oh, it was so gross. But he did it. Yeah, you, you watch that show, man. Holy crap. And the guy, they have tapes of him talking and laughing about it. It's pretty gross. It's pretty gross. But yeah, this guy went, and they were boys, so he'd, he'd tie him up, handcuff him like a handcuff trick, strangle him, have his way with him, and then bury him in his basement. 
crawl space. It was a crawl space, so it wasn't a lot of room. So that's funny. Like when you think about it, you know, I got three kids. They're two teenagers and one twenty-year-old. My wife worries a lot. And obviously, I worry about it, but I don't worry like, oh, my God, they're never coming home. But it could happen. You know, you don't think of it. Because it's like, so I watched these. Yes, yesterday was uh, Netflix uh, gruesome day for me. So I watched Ted Bundy, Gacy, and I forget the other ones. Just these all happened kind of at the same time. You know what I mean? In the 70s, 80s, at the Unabomber show, the Unabomber. Three, three shows just crazy not you know all going on at the same time and it's like you know say you're delivering pizza and you have to go into a apartment building that guy might be waiting for you you know but I, well they they kind of will know i guess because the pizza guy you know back in the 70s they might not have had the sophisticated stuff we have now but now they do i think they can track that but but still they can still kill you and, and take off you know or whatever but, uh, but you never know. There's some psychos out there, but now they just go and shoot and shoot up things, right? They don't even hide it. They just go blow everybody away. Instead of these guys, Psycho, Bundy, and Gacy, they were they were did that for years. Ugh. And the Unabomber guy. Times are different now. Now there's cameras everywhere. So now they just walk in and shoot you. Pretty sad. Pretty sad. So we're lucky to be sitting here talking on a casual Friday about uh, anything, golf, or whatever we want to talk about. But, yeah, those Netflix shows are pretty good. They had the real investigators. That's how I found out about Gacy when they pulled the one guy out of the mud, they couldn't get him. And the guy stuck his hand through his body. Oh, my God. They pulled the poor guy out. Well, he's dead. But and those guys, man, God bless them to have to deal with that shit. I, I play golf and give golf lessons. So I, I've got an aid compared to that. You know, imagine that, having to go home to your wife at night after seeing that or touching that. Oh, God bless them. You know, and he said he did it for the victims. The victims needed someone to help them. And I get grossed out at it. So the Unabomber, one of the videos, they showed the guy with his, you know, nubs. You know, he had nubs and he had a hole in his arm or indentation. It was gross. And they showed it before and after. So they showed the hole right when it happened. And then when it healed, it was just a, it's like you could, it's like it was a battery compartment. You open up with a battery in there. It was kind of, it was gross. I, I, I don't, I feel bad for the guy. I don't like that stuff, you know. But then they showed it with the blood and the wound. Oh, it was so horrible. And the fingers all gone. Ugh. Just horrible. But that's why I chose golf, I guess. I couldn't be a fireman. Like the other night, the guy across the street, he's probably 80. The, the uh, paramedics came at like three in the morning. Firemen, and they're trying to get in his house, and we're you know peeking out the window and hoping this guy's okay. So he must have had one of those first alerts. I'm assuming I, I don't know. And uh, so they got the crowbar, and they're banging on the door, and they're ready to open it, and the guy pops his head out. What's going on? You know, he's kind of a grumpy guy, but he's probably mad they woke him up, right? Trying to save him. But imagine that you go in there, the poor guys out dead I, I god bless these firemen and the cops how, how they can deal with that stuff i i couldn't do it or you see a car, sorry, car crash on the way to the range the other night just right into a pole doors both doors were off the car i don't know what the person was like but you know you got to go deal these deal with these people these these paramedics and firemen and cops and stuff Eesh. But that was the Netflix day I had yesterday. So, I mean, some of these shows, and they're riveting. I mean, oh, the other one, who's the other psycho? Dahmer. That was on. Now, it is entertainment. And you learn something, but it's also a playbook of how to kill people and hide them. 
So if you're ever interested to do it, you watch these shows and you take notes and you can go find out a way to, to, to do it. But I mean, and they prey on the weak, obviously, because how do you get away with, I mean, Dahmer had 25 or six of them, right? Gacy had 35 of them. Bundy had 20. You know, how do you, how do you fall for that? You know, how do you fall for that? And I guess Dharma's house stunk like, you know, dead bodies because he, he had bodies in the fridge and torso in the fucking closet. And just gross. I got to shut the door. Hold on one second. Oh, God, the dog. We're on live. Commercial, commercial break. Commercial break, folks. Sorry about that. But yeah, check those uh, Netflix out. And if you have any that you like, let me know. I'd, I'd like to watch them. There is one on the golf tour coming up. I'm not sure exactly when, but they did a Netflix documentary on the PGA Tour. So it's probably going to be pretty good based on what happened with Liv and them fighting. So it's going to be juicy. I'm not sure when that comes out, but um, but I like the documentaries myself, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. It's it's again, it's gross some of it, but uh, the Dharma one, he might have a documentary too. But I was watching; it was a series. It was like a it was like a Breaking Bad type of a series, but an actual you know with supposedly true story with Dharma meeting these boys, luring him back to his apartment. Letting them have it. Ugh. Casual Friday. Hold on one more second. My wife needs a chair. Hold on. Here. What about the dog? How's he going to get in the dog? I'm trying to talk to people here. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. They're having fun. Daniel, what's up, my friend? How you doing, buddy? How are the shanks? Did I fix them for you? Did I fix your shanks or no? I did for a little bit because you said that. But they're back. We got to fix them. But that's what you got to ask me. You got to you gotta let me know, man, because this golf is a roller coaster ride. You're going to have great, when everything's going good, everything's wonderful. Whee! Then the shit hits the fan. Ah, Tom Gillis sucks. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Then you get good again. Oh, man. You're going to have good days and bad days. That's why you're going to do the drills. Look at my videos. Do the drills. Check your grip. Make sure you're holding it right. Boom. You'll be fine. That's the thing is people, it, golf's hard. You know, it, it, guys aren't pros. You don't play all day, every day. I tried everything for the past week. After the month break, nothing really worked. You, sh you still shaking it? So there's two ways to shake it. You're either coming across it or inside too much. So your path is either too left or too much to the right. Obviously, you're hitting it on the hosel. So that's why you, you, you get a little further away from it depending on the, the swing. Hit balls with your feet together is what I would do. Even get wiffle balls, right? Go in the backyard and just hit balls with your feet together and you'll get rid of it. I've never, I've never shanked a ball in my life because of how I practice, you know, and that's why I try to teach others is practice. If you practice properly, you won't hit bad shots. You'll hit some bad shots, but my bad shots go too far or too short, a little left, a little barely, you know what I mean? I don't hit shitty, shitty shots most of the time. Of course, sometimes. Oh, there you go. Just smash it. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to think when you play golf. K K K it's, that's how you're supposed to play. 
you don't seek you seek when you practice a little bit but you when you're on the golf course you just go you don't think of anything you can't you can't think when you play golf no you, you can't but you won't play well <laughs> you've got to just smash it cool. right like this i'm gonna i'm gonna throw this bottle cap and hit that cup right there no problem right i didn't think i just did it but you got to practice properly to be able to to do that you know practice hitting numbers what distances well you practice many different things right you practice distance control obviously but i do i do those drills i hit the balls on my feet together i hit them on one leg i hit them with my eyes closed i do that to look at the look at my playlist there of the drills okay do those religiously and your swing will be fine but then i i also make sure i set up the same every time that i'm the same distance from the ball that my grip is the same you know what i mean i use a mirror i look in the mirror i i have another coat when i don't play much anymore but i have a guy i trusted as another pro coach watch me and help me make sure hey how does that look you know how, how's boom i lined up right you know, make sure you're set up properly, you know, that those little things are important because it was, if you change the, the way you're set up, you're going to change the way you swing, right? If all of a sudden I'm even 20 yards right, I'm in trouble. And, and as a righty, which I know you are, most golfers aim to the right. So if you're aiming 20 yards right, if your target is 20 yards left, you're going to pull back. 20 degrees or yards with the club back to the left and fuck up your swing without even knowing it. And then eventually you're going to start shaking it. It's, so check your alignment, get those rods, you know, those orange sticks, rods, whatever you want to call them. Make sure you lined up right, you know, practice lining up right. And you'll never hit a bad shot. Oh, you're moving tomorrow. Oh, nice. There you go. Good for you. Yeah, you got to pay attention to the, the things that, that, are, that are boring. Okay, Go, playing good golf is tedious and boring. Okay, it really is. You can't just get out there, grab your driver, start smashing it, and leave. You've got to work on your setup, your alignment. Look in the mirror. Are my arms lined up? Let me move your thing here. Where did I get that? Let me get that off. Hold on. Okay, so your arms are lined up, this right here. So you don't want one up, one down, right? You want them pretty much lined up straight, right? Make sure your shoulders aren't closed or open. If, the, if you're not watching that, you're screwed. You're going to get into bad habits. But it's boring to do that. Nobody, you don't see people practicing that, their alignment. You know, Just practice your pre-shot routine and step it into the ball. Make sure you're aligned the same way every time. Because that's how you do it. There's no pro pro way and amateur way, unfortunately. There's an easy way and a hard way. Did you? Nice. Go three, five, six. Three, six, nine is a good way to do it. You know, put uh, ball three, six, nine, and then put three at nine, three at six, three at three. Hit those and work your way back. Use a chalk line. You know what a chalk line is? Do I have mine here? I'm doing a video on golf putting drills and tips as I'm not doing it right this second, obviously, but working on that. Someone yelling. You snap a chalk line down and you practice that. You know, or you use a laser. Do I have it right here? I use one of those lasers that you hang uh, I can pictures up on the wall from Home Depot. This thing right here. I don't think I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that work? Can you see the laser? I'll put it on my shirt. No, it's, there we go. Can you see it? Why can't you see it? Yeah, you see it? See the laser? So it's this laser thing. It's at Home Depot. And you put, it's like an indoor chalk line. So you put this down on the ground. It has a straight line, and you practice putting on the – where is it? Over here. You practice putting on that line on the ground. It's pretty cool. 
So that's my indoor chalk line. I use a regular chalk line for outside. Because if you're not lined up, you're screwed, especially putting. If you can keep that ball on that line, that line is a smidgen compared to the hole. You know, the hole's that big. That line is that big, you know, tiny. You know, and practice putting over a coin or something. But how you practice is so important. But make sure you're lined up right. You know, lining up is so crucial. So crucial to playing better golf. But doing those drills. Hit balls on that one leg, your right leg. Put, hit balls with your feet together. You watch. You, you'll find that club face, man. You'll start smashing it. You'll become a, I'm, I'm assuming you're an athlete too, but you'll become a better athlete, better hand-eye coordinator, golf, a better golf athlete. Let's put it that way. Because if you're out there thinking, all right, take it back, slow, bend your knee, turn it, ah, you're screwed. That stuff should all just happen with fluid, with, with athleticism. And that's what those drills do for you. The hell is that? I keep hearing a noise. I don't know. But, yeah, you're on your way, my friend. You're on your way. I was showing up my head covers, the Camerons and all that stuff earlier. My putter is not a Titleist. I'm, I'm allowed to use something else putting. But this is a, what's that, a Spider X, I guess they call it. Awesome. The color is chrome. Love it. Make everything with it. Love it. Yeah, I did a video, too, on wedges bounce. You know, the bounce on the bottom of the club. I got like hair in my mouth. It wasn't in depth, but it was pretty good. Just helping people understand, like, what bounce you should use and what conditions that you play in and all that and what it does and all. But like I said, I'm making more in-depth ones with better, better production value and all that stuff soon. Man, I got – I do have hair in my mouth. Fall golf is the best, isn't it? My leg is better, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting there. So I started swinging uh, yesterday in the backyard and uh, doing squats now and light ones and stretching and walking. So hopefully I'll be back smashing it again soon for next season for sure. But that's why I couldn't do any super high videos because of my leg. But I will be. I will be shortly. What was that noise? Yeah, practice is – I love practicing. Practicing is the game of golf to me. So the better I practice, the more I practice properly, the right things, the golf was like the test of how I practice. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got – you get addicted to it. All right, my friend. I'll talk to you later, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Um you got addicted to practicing. I mean, I loved it. And then golf play, no problem. Just rip it down the middle, knock it up on the green, putt it, chip it, boom, par, birdie. You know, it's just it was easy because the practicing is the is the the game of golf. If you want to be good, you want to play your best. Not good, but play your best. Obviously, good, but to play your best. You know, and and as a golf coach, a golf pro, it's important for me to play good you know i can't shoot a million who once in a while it happens but I, i've seen some some golf pros shoot 95 97 in, in pro tournaments 90 and it wasn't a fluke if it if it happened once it was a windy day or so i get it but that's what they shoot all the time how do you show your face at your club or your, your clients that take lessons from you? Now, if you're hurt or old or whatever, that's different. But your 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 basic, healthy, normal man, woman should be able to break 80 every time they play. Golf pro. And, and, and I tried to break 70 every time I play. I didn't, but I tried. And I, I could. I was capable of it. You know, and, and hitting, being able to hit the shot. So if I'm going to teach you how to hit a, a, a low 
cutting driver, I should be able to do it. Or, or, or a high drawing three wood, I should be able to do it. Or a sand shot plugged, I should be able to do it. You know? If I can't teach myself, how am I going to teach you guys, right? And that's what I did. I spent time on learning everything and practicing left-handed and practicing with women's clubs or senior flex, extra stiff, weak flex, you know, 56 degree, 60 degree, 52 degree, hitting bunker shots with a six iron, you know, just trying all these strange things to figure it out, you know. Did that experiment with a lot of my lessons, you know, I'd hey, you know, I'd say, hey, try try this or try that, see what worked and what didn't work, you know. It, it, most things work, but things that didn't work, we wouldn't do them anymore, of course, of course. But you got to try them, you know. You got to try everything, you know. I, I wouldn't have Mrs. Finkelstein hitting on one leg, of course not. She could hit with two feet together. Or her feet a little bit apart, you know, if she doesn't have great balance. But the more she does that, she'll have better balance. It'll train her to have balance, you know. So that's, you, you got to adapt to the golfer, you know. And, and, uh, and I know a lot of people aren't going to practice and do certain things. I'm not stupid. You know, hey, go do this or do that if you want to be better. You know, it's it's not magic. I can't just go poof. And that's what some people want. They want that poof, you know, oh, why aren't I better? Why aren't I better? Well, did you practice it? Well, no. Well, you do have to put some effort into getting better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hitting numbers. Yeah, I don't I don't get too caught up in those number things. Yeah, distance I try to hit distance wise, but you know, I don't get caught up in chasing speed. I, I hit the ball plenty far. I did when I was good. And I worked on that without the track man thing. Because everybody gets caught up in that and without the camera thing. When the cameras first started coming out in the 80s, the good ones, the 90s, I remember I'd have a camera set up and hit balls and I'd go look at every swing. How'd I do? what I do? I wasn't worried about the ball. I was worried about the cam what, what it looked like. And it messed me up. And I see it all the time. I saw one guy at the range last week. He had a camera facing him this way. He had two iPhones on tripods, one this way and one that way. Two. And he's hitting them all over the world. You know? And I'm like, man, that's not good. You can't do that. You got to look at some of them, I guess, but you can't do that to yourself. So when I video someone for a lesson, I'll video them. It's like a before and after type thing. So I'll have them hit a few balls before I say anything, and I'll video them. And then I'll help them, and then I'll video them and show them, hey, see, this is how you did when you got here. This is what you're doing now after I helped you. So they see a difference. You know, they can see it. But don't get caught up in the video. And, and that's what's wrong with tech. I mean, I know everyone loves tech, but tech is, is good for some things, but the average golfer, it's not good for their game. You know, the, the, the pros, the touring pros can cover compartmentalize it and get rid of it and block it out. They don't chase the numbers like that, you know, instead of wondering and worrying about what their swing looks like and all that stuff. You know, so that's, you know, some people don't, can't, shouldn't see their swing, you know, my opinion. But, but that's what you do as a coach. You help them. You talk to them, you know, you tell them to play golf. You're out here to hit the ball to a target, you know, it's not look great. You know, not um, you're not going to hit at 320. It's just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So, but that's all you see now on TV. These commercials for the hack motion, the tour track. Well, track man, you don't see commercials for because they don't need a commercial. But what's the other one? Mevo. Who makes that one? Flight scope. You know, then you got this, then you got that thing. Yeah. So I, so I invented this little putting mirror, but it's not, it's a mirror. It's not tech. It's to, you know, to keep your head centered and, and keep you from moving by keeping your face in the mirror. You know, the mirror is on an angle, but it's not technical. You know, it's not, you know, it's, it's a piece of plastic and a mirror. 
it's 20 bucks it's cheap but uh, but people do get caught up in those numbers man and they try to chase that number you get them on the track man they swing as hard as they possibly can right And they hit it sideways because you can't play that way. What happened to my camera? Am I on? Oh, shit. I did something stupid there. I pressed full screen. There we go. Uh, you know, people try to just swing like an animal. There's certain ways to do things. And there's a there's an easy path and a hard path to get better. And you got to trust the guys that know the easy path and follow that path. It can't be done. You know, it can't be done. This golf tournament's putting me to sleep. It really is boring. Boring. What's today? Friday? Hopefully there's some good college football on. Pro football this weekend. Yep. One thing they do have on this tournament is a good caddy um, pro talk. They're, they're letting them talk. You can hear them. It's pretty good, which is nice. But this is certainly not a major event. There's something in my drink. That's what it is. That's what I keep spitting. No, there's something in there. I think. Oh, it's paper from the, the Stella. Yuck. Sorry about that. Sorry about that on a casual Friday here at TGGI.com. People come and go, man. Stop and say hello. Stop and say hello. Let's have some convos going. What do you want to talk about? Middle East? China? No. Golf? Hockey? Baseball? Tennis? Field hockey, from what I understand, there are a lot of people getting shut down on uh, conservative channels. I, from what I hear, I don't, I don't know that uh, for a fact, but from what I hear, that's what's happening. People are getting shut down. I wear this hat a lot on lives, huh? Look, there's a bug there's a bug casual friday alex elliott who's he he must be welcome to the jug this guy has 167,000 subscribers no idea who he is. Thirty-five million views he has since two thousand seventeen. Wow. I like it. I like I like what he brings. But you got to bring it. You got to just keep doing it. Keep making these videos. Keep doing it. Keep talking to people. Keep finding them. Getting them in there. You know. You know what I mean. And that's uh, that's what makes it so hard. YouTube makes it hard for you to grow. You know, it does because it's powered by the viewer, not the this guy. I got to make the videos and, and do the talking, but you guys have to like it and subscribe to it and share it and all that, because that's what makes YouTube share it more. So the more people that like it and subscribe to it, what is it? 
Red Sox. Yeah, not right this side of the bell, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it might be a little bit. All right. Yes. Yes. Um, so, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, so YouTube promotes the, the creator by the creator putting out content and the viewers liking it. And if no one likes your stuff, good or bad, if you do a good job or a bad job, it, it doesn't matter. No one's going to hopefully do a good job. But if, if no one likes it or sees it, they don't push you. you. They don't promote you. So no one will ever see it. It's just hidden. It's pushed off to the side. It's not there, you know, unless you type my name in specifically. So that's what makes it hard for to grow on YouTube is, is you know, getting people to find you, you know, and that's, that is, it's hard harder than like Twitter. I can go to Twitter and, and I can get 25 people a day. It's easy. I don't. But on this, I get I get like 10 people a day on this, which is good, I guess. But there's a lot more people doing this than, than me that have been doing it for a long time, you know, and, and I don't have all the fancy graphics and all that yet. I, I, I guess I will at some point, but um, and I've been injured, so I haven't been able to like go on the range and hit balls and, and demonstrate or go play my you know grandfather for a hundred bucks like guys do and shit like that. I don't have a grandfather anymore, but uh, you know what I mean. So that's all coming. I, I mean, I'm going to make this channel pretty fun and, and good and entertaining too. And you know, it's not all serious. It's you have some fun with it, and laugh a little bit, and joke, and, but I'll get better and have have entertainment. Because I, I, for one, am getting sick of the political talk and, and all that red state. It's just dividing the country and and the hatred for people is just crazy. It's off the charts. People just hate you if you're from whatever they're not from. You know, if you're red and they're blue, they hate you. If you're blue and they're red, they hate you. You're a dummy, you know. I'm getting sick of that. sick of it so that's what we want to do here you know you want to argue go somewhere else and argue but you want to have some fun and just talk normal stuff and have a regular conversation this is a good spot to be you know hopefully anyone in uh, florida or if that hurricane is pummeling somewhere they're probably not watching i guess but hopefully they're all okay you know And thank you for coming here and stopping in. I appreciate it. I do. You know, I haven't been able to find a time where there's a lot of people want to come on live. You know, I don't even know if there's a market for it for live live golf talk. But I want to make it make it that, you know. I want to make it that for sure. So maybe the nighttime is the place to be, you know, on here. You know, people are uh, not people are working during the day too. It's almost six o'clock at night where I live. So now, now you're looking at California. What time is it in California? Three hours difference, four hours difference. So two o'clock ish, two thirty ish, whatever. So yeah, it's uh, it's, it's it's a learning process. You know, I've only been doing it for three months now, you know, and, and I look at all these other people and I got all these followers have been doing it for five years, six years, you know, and that's how you get found. You just keep doing it. And it's fun. I, I have no problem doing the, the golf stuff. I love it. I love doing it. You know, the, the editing and all that I'm learning and all that stuff sometimes can be frustrating, but I'm, I'm learning how to do it. But the golf content I have, But nobody really sees it, and that's because they don't know about it, you know. So my, you know, I did a thing on bounce on a wedges yesterday, and I think I've got like forty views. I mean, that's ridiculous. It, you know, it, it was a, just a good brief thing on, 
you know, bounce on your wedges. Eight views, sorry. Eight. That's nuts. That's crazy. Eight. I mean, come on. But nobody sees it. Nobody knows it's there, you know. Nobody knows it's there. They're not going to see it. Mac Jones is out this week. Vincent Von Oh, fuck. The hell is it? Oh, Myrtle Beach is underwater, huh? I wonder if that's coming up here. And if you people are in the way of this, I hope you're safe and all that, obviously. Oh, John's Island. Wind is definitely picking up. Better turn that trampoline over and stake it to the ground, brother. Yeah, these storms are crazy, huh? Morocco demands the withdrawal of the Algerian national football team's jerseys. What a world we live in, huh? What the hell is a... I don't know. I don't get it. The world's crazy. Portland Trailblazer sponsorship. Crypto startup storm. Yeah, it's funny the, uh, the the advertising now on the NFL NHL shirts. That's Tiger Woods. Right? Yeah. Tiger Woods is pretty good. Just checking the weather channel out. Middle East post tropical. Ian still a dangerous storm. Is it coming up here? Is what we want. Oh, it is. Shit. It's getting kind of hectic. No, it's going west. I think we're safe. Not tomorrow, Reed. Cloudy with showers. Cloudy with showers, folks. It's getting kind of hectic. I've got the power. Oh, can I show pictures on there? I'm going to see if I can show pictures on there. I don't know how, but I'm going to try. Oh, it's over here. Oh, this is a tough fact. If I could try to show videos or pictures of... Am I frozen? Of course I'm frozen. Every time I try to press a button, I go frozen. All right, I think I'm unfrozen. I think I'm unfrozen, people. But yeah, these hurricanes are crazy. Miami hurricanes stink, but regular hurricanes are powerful. I think that's my photos, right? Okay. Yeah, this computer is just too slow. I'm going to give it a shot. Uh oh. You with here, somebody? Absolutely perfect 
Ah, frozen again. Awesome. Which are you with you? Oh, frozen again. Hey, man, look at my life. I don't know. Oh, God, help me. Casual Friday. We were born in China. But China. Control, Alt, Delete. Every time I press that, things get better. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of this shit. And we're back live. Sorry about that. Another stupid thing happened. My, my area is getting all crazy. Oh. Hello. One second more. Trying to figure all this shit out. Uh, all right. So I just learned I can't try to do anything on this computer without it messing up. Um, messing up my my stream. Which sucks. I don't know. <clears throat> oh man, look at that. Is it hard? 
hard to hit that like button, people. Change my name back to that. You know what I mean? You got to get the name out there. You got to get it out there somehow. You know? The expert. Oh. Oh, really? Is he going on tonight, my friend? Practice those five butters, man. He's got 900 videos. That's crazy. Nine hundred. We have nine hundred. He does have me on his thing. He is a good dude. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. She's always helping me out, the rabbit. I don't know that one. The Mud Sally's Lounge, right? Yeah. Do I have medical or vocal? I used to. I used to. Highly opinionated practice of law videos, playlists. Community, the expert. Shatner blocked me on Twitter. Congratulations, Shatner. I don't even know what I'm doing. Here Yep. Sorry about that. I had to get caught up on the um, John Wayne Gacy trial. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So where where are we? What are we talking about now? What can we do? It's Casual Friday. What are we going to do? What are we going to talk about? JT, you out there, buddy? Say hello. Thomas, you out there? Oh. Oh. 
I will look like you are. Analytics. Oh, that is analytics. Stream health is amazing. Health. Let it rain. See, on today or not? Twelve days ago, two days ago, two weeks ago. How do you do it when people are uh? Uh, who's out there, folks? What time we got? We're almost at two hour mark. Huh. Was hoping to get some people on, you know? Some folks talking about stuff. You know what I mean? How do you get that video? I don't understand it. Block it, mute it, record it. Good Only if you come in like this class, you know, you can't be seen from me. Yeah. 
It can't be seen from there, kid. Oh boy! I lose. I lost another fan. They're back, baby. We're back. Oh, new comments. Sorry, I didn't see him. Oh shit! What happened? Don't even know what I'm doing. Hey, Domino's, what's up? Daniel cared about my leg, which is nice, maybe. Oh, boy. Hit that like button, man, if you're just popping in, please. I know I'm begging, but it helps spread the word out. You know, as as you know, low as it is, my IM channel is growing every day. And how these guys get so many views without that many followers, it's hard to imagine. But but they give up. You know, a lot of people give up on this. Should I get closer or what? How about that? I can look up my nose. <laughs> you know what I mean? A lot of people. You can look up my notes. Oh, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go back over here. There we go. Let's sit like this. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, yeah. That like and subscribe button is so important. You know, I have no idea. At the bare, the bare necessity times of of the tubes, trying to grow the channel is so difficult, and they they try to make you suffer. You know what I mean? They try to make you suffer. They really do. They want you to. They want you to try to fight through all the, the hardships, you know what I mean? And, and I mean, even though my channel is growing and it's doing good, the live shows don't get that many people. Ten people here, eight people there. And it's different people every time. Then you see a few of the same names. But it all come together, you know, and, and we'll figure it out. But. You know, I got the golf tournament on. We're watching that. We can talk about that. Talk about whatever we want, not just golf. But uh, it, you know what the beauty is? Is it's free. It doesn't cost to do this. I had to pay somebody for certain things, but overall, it's, it's free. You know, it doesn't cost you nothing. I don't think. You know, um, uh, in the future, it might. But uh, people do donate with Venmo and all that. I don't ask people for money, but they do um, for tips and all that. But whatever, that's fine. That's not what we're here for. But down the road, it will be. You know, it is a business for me. I am trying to make this my full-time job and get away from teaching on the actual golf course and, and doing this and teaching people through the Internet. So I do have my online coaching um through a, an app a video app you send me your pictures back and forth we talk on the phone we chat and all that and uh, it, it's going good you know it's going good and it's inexpensive but i can get more people through this than i can at the actual driving range i can only do 10 lessons a day on the driving range here i can do 30. you know i can reach more people through the internet than i can at the driving range you know, so as a PGA pro, you know, they, if you don't work in a country club or, you know, a recognized facility, they, they don't like that. But if you work in a country club, you're only really talking to 100 people a day type of a thing. Whereas I'm talking to, you know, right now, 1,200 or more that I don't know about. 
You know what I mean? So I, and then, and then if I get up to a hundred thousand subscribers, that's pretty good talking to that many people, you know, or that many people. Well, well, well look at it this way. In the last month, three months that I've been doing this, I've had 1.54 million people watch my videos. That's pretty, that's a lot. That's more than any club pros at a club is going to inter, interact with, right? So I'm trying to promote the game. I'm trying to get the golf going. And, and I'm not at a country club anymore. I'm here. What's the difference? Tom Gillis Country Club or Golf Instruction Club. You know, I'm, I'm talking to more people than most club pros do. And that's a fact. And it's okay. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying this should be recognized as a, as a facility, you know. What Tom Gillis Golf Instruction does on the, on the internet. I don't know what you call it, but I'm reaching a lot of people, and it's the new wave of the future, you know. So the, the, they, they let them wear shorts and practice rounds, and so they're coming along, these, you know, guys like me. And, and again, I don't like shorts at, well, as a pro. I just don't. But that's okay. That's It's like seeing a lawyer with shorts on. Or You see that commercial where the guy had the shorts suit? He had his suit jacket on with his shorts that matched it. Oh, it was funny. Yeah, that's, that's, he looks stupid. You know, I don't care how hot he is. It ain't that hot. It ain't that hot. The, the clothes are pretty wicky and cool now. They have cool clothes, lightweight. It's, it's not that bad. But they do need to get with the times with that technology, for sure. You know, this is a thing, YouTube. You know, social media is a thing. So, that's uh, a good thing it's a good thing and that's what we're trying to do just grow the game my job is to grow the game and I love it I love it I absolutely love it CT pan pots and pan So yeah, so that's that's what I'm trying to work on, growing this channel, making it big, making it where people can come and learn and get better, play better golf, learn something. Who's this guy? Eight million views, six million views. That's crazy. August last call. The freak is this guy? 2016. That's nuts. Coming up with creative names and creative tags. It's not easy, man. I'm telling you what, it's not easy. I wonder if my friend, the expert, is going to be on tonight. I don't know. Nobody knows. What is this? We've only had three Stellas, so that's not too bad. Three Stellas isn't bad for me for now. On a casual Friday, 58 degrees. Um, inside, it's 88. They got the heat on extra hot. No, I don't. Just kidding. I don't want the earthers. To... He will. What time? Do you know? I tried to look at his site, DD, and um, I couldn't find it. Because you've been trying to get me to come on and talk, and I can tonight for the first time, because I usually go out on Friday nights with the uh, lovely Alicia, but I, if he's had other people, I don't want to infringe on him. Of course not. But uh, I couldn't find it on his thing. 
Maybe they unsubscribed me. Is that possible? I think they do that once. Let me see that. I didn't even think of that. Because sometimes they unsubscribe you. I've never been on his channel. We talk through here uh, occasionally. We have a ball. <laughs> Where is it? I bet you they unsubscribed me. No, I'm subscribed. I'm subscribed. But it used to say he'd be on uh, Nidish. Yeah, no, I'll definitely be there for sure. Are you going to be on talking? It is a thing, right? Yeah, it happens. They didn't do it for some reason, but they did. They did at the beginning. But uh, but it used to have a a uh, a notify me button, right? But I can't find it. But I know he does Fridays, Tuesday, Fridays nights. But I've been always busy on Friday nights and. Uh, now that's nine o'clock your his time, right? Which is ten o'clock my time. I think if I don't have too many of these stellars there, D D, I might be okay. I'll slow down. This is only my third one. It's casual Friday. Even though I am dressed like I play golf. It's cold out. Let me see, how do I, where's the camera? There we go. Let me slide it over there. Slide it, there we go. Ah, oh, there, the collar works. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, so you got the whole crew on. This is, do, 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 do. Yeah, he's uh he's a good man. Him and his wife are they've been so nice to me and they pop on here and it's just an awesome, awesome uh place to go. Awesome they've just been so nice to me ever since I've been doing this. And that's how I found him. He was on someone else's channel and he's talking about helping others and uh so I took his advice and and I crashed his uh one of his shows and said, Help, help and he helped me. And um, that's when I had like 58 subscribers. Now I've got like 1,200 and something. So that was, was like June, what month? I started in July, right? It was like August 1st or so. But yeah, they've been both been great to me. Everybody, you, everybody, they've been just so nice and, and, and willing to help, which is so great. You know, people are. And we all live in different parts of the, the country or, or world for some people, you know. But it's just a great place to go. It's fun. The trivia night's fun, even though I only did a couple of them. Uh, not lack of wanting to, lack of falling asleep, because it starts later for me here in uh, the East Coast. And uh, I get tired. Yeah, but the unsubscribe thing is true. That's what... You know, people that are subscribers, you got to make sure they check it because you can lose a bunch of them fast, you know. You could lose a bunch of them fast. Speaking of Stella, I'm going to find Stella's twin sister in a second here. Hold on. Her sister Stella. Stella's sister Stella. Oh, boy. Stella. Stella. I guess we're done. Stella. Yep. And we're back. Friday Night Live, baby. 
Daniel's God, everyone's God. Everybody loves somebody. It's supposed to rain. Oh, that's a hurricane. Yeah, hurricane. Ooh, not good. Don't like hurricanes, but it's supposed to rain up here tomorrow. I don't know if it has anything to do with that, but we can put the laser beam. Oh, that's cool. Is that? Oh, that's the. That's me lighting up pink because of this. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Is that showing up on the screen? Can you see that? Am I turning pink? And disappearing? I have a laser, and I'm putting the laser on the camera. That's amazing. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully that worked. That's special effects only you get here on the Tom Gillis channel. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that did work. Oh, that was me looking live. Whoa. Shoot this laser into the camera and it disappears me. Look at that. That's cool. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny, man. I'm a comedian. A comedian. Yep. Everybody's probably sleeping, getting ready for their live streams because it seems like everybody streams at night. And if we all go on at night, yeah, nobody's on, just me. So they're probably all sleeping, getting ready to stream because they gotta go. They gotta go hard all night, you know. Which is good. It's a good thing, and, and he does such a good job. So I need to use out there the expert. His name is just like it sounds. The capital E expert. Um, it's how you how you subscribe, and everybody's awesome. So go there and, and subscribe to it. Check them out. It's really welcoming and fun. And I'm not supposed to swear, but sometimes I do by accident. But certainly not to hurt anybody's feelings or anything. Or just look out the window at the dog. What's you looking at, brother? You know, everybody's welcome here. Itchy head. Itchy. Each it all. The light, sir. I'm, what's the blur do? I've never done the blur. Ooh, that's weird. That's weird, the blur. You got the blur. Then you get the bricks. That's fine. This is a weird one. It's like I'm up against the wall. Where's that here to go? <laughs> 10,000 unemployed comedians, and I'm trying to make jokes, right? The breaks even out. What time is it? Six thirty. No, 
another 10 minutes or two minutes, 20 minutes. 6.30, it's getting dark out. Damn it. I hate it. I hate it. This golf tournament's boring as shit. You're getting the views. Where are the people at? Come say hi. I should have went on before his show. That's what I should do. I should go on from 8 to 9 and have a pre-show. Get ready for him. Right? Have a pre-show. Do people get sick of doing this? You know, people are people, so why should it be? I need the fireballs is what I need. The old fireball trick. The old fireball trick. People must have lives, right? I'm assuming. People are people, so why should it be? You and I should get along so awfully. <sighs> crazy man, crazy. Oh well. Ball Storm, that's a cool name. I don't know how to do all this other stuff. Having issues. What is that? Oh, oh shit. Thought I lost it. Thought I lost it. Esteban. Esteban Toledo. Esteban Toledo. Uh, five footers. I thought you're supposed to get a, a bing when someone pops in or something like that. That wall's pretty funny. Nice. Practice makes perfect, people. Daniel. You have plenty of opportunities to practice. Nice. You got to practice. You got to work on it. You got to groove it. You got to groove your craft, folks. Groove your craft. We got to get people to watch more. That John Wayne Gacy show is unbelievable. I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. Sorry about that. But that Netflix is nuts. Some of the things they show on it is crazy. I'm going to open this up. Get some air in here. Get some air in here, folks. Phone. I got to get a better setup. Really do. Let's see if anything is getting any better. Oh, 2,000 there. Whoa, that's good. Finally got some views there. No, no. No, no, no. 
34 years. That's nuts. How do I only have that many subscribers? I want more. Oh, I can't breathe. I can go there. That could go there. That could go there. Oh, yeah, that St. Andrews is wild, huh? Six years? I didn't even know she was that old. That's crazy, man. Great. Awesome. Just awesome. Just awesome. Edit avatar. Edit audio avatar. Oh, I see. Oh, you can just put any picture you want, right? Uh, I'm going to upload an avatar. Let's have some fun. That didn't work. Golf is fun for people. God, I can't breathe, man. It's awful. I wish I had the devil's deirdre. No, I don't. Just kidding. Just kidding. Five likes. Thank you. All right. What else we got for pictures, folks? Jaeger bombs. What do we got? What do we got, folks? The Jordanian. Oh, my God. That is... Jordan Spieth and my kid. That's pretty funny. Look how small he is. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. And we're back live on a casual Friday. My friend Stella Artois is still here. She's a great companion if you know what I mean I think you do you know what I'm saying people I don't know possible active shooter I just saw that great and I'm posting golf stuff, and they're posting active shooters. I feel like an asshole. I didn't even realize that. Today, I premiere at 5.30 Eastern. Oh, that's a video. That's a video, not a uh, live. 
Where's the line? What is that noise? Doesn't my dog know I'm talking to people? Doesn't he know? Jeffrey Dahmer tattoo. I want a Jeffrey Dahmer tattoo. Who wants a Jeffrey Dahmer tattoo? God damn, I can't breathe. All right, we're getting some air, folks. Uh, excuse me. Todd Lewis, a dork. What a dork. Oh, that? That's the wife. Are you there? No. You're hiding? <laughs> they couldn't see you. Come here, buddy. Yeah, this guy here, Richard, you're going on the view here, on the view, the cat. Look, you're on, buddy. You're Richard. Ow, he's scratching the shit out of me. That's the cat. Look how scared he is. Say hi, you're on. It's okay. Look at him. That's what a $1,200 cat looks like. Right? He's awesome. He's what you call a rag doll. Great cat. Great cat. Just had to tell you that. It's a great cat. Oh, boy. Folks, I'll tell you what. People are people. Oh, why would it be? Oh my god. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting kinda of hungry. Oh boy. Oh shit. 